Hi, I'm Christina from Christina Glows. 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 I feel like the barrage of vegan nonsense never ends. Here we have yet another walking bag of bones killing herself on a vegan diet under the not so clever name Christina Glows. And she is glowing all right with thousands of dollars of plastic surgery and makeup. Of course, I would rather mind my own business, let people do their own thing if they want to look like Skeletor, have at it. Unfortunately, this young lady is a health coach and is giving seminars on her diet and lifestyle. Christina Glows, everybody. Please. Um, just before I start, I really wanted to say thank you so much to Valeria, Marco, and the whole Modern Nation team for having me. And just quickly before I give my presentation, um, which is the 12 steps to maximize your health, I just really, it's, it's a little bit, sorry, hard for me to say, but it took me years to love myself. Growing up, I looked a little bit different than other people. No, I haven't had, you know, major plastic surgery. I'll get that in the future, but um, but I do look a little bit different than some people, and especially putting myself out in the public eye as a health coach, there I think there was a little bit of concern. So just so you know, I'm I'm a raw vegan. I may eat a little bit differently than you guys. I'm definitely not telling you how to eat, how to look, how to live your life. I'm just here to promote abundance, and I brought some of my family here today because I'm a very transparent person. I put my life online. And um, I've definitely got nothing to hide, and I definitely live my truth. So I'm really excited to be here. Um, I'm excited for the warm welcome and for them for keeping me on. So with that, I'd like to get started. Um, 12 steps uh, to maximize your health. What's impressive to me is her ability to stand on that stage. I'm surprised the dress isn't weighing her down and causing her bone frame to collapse. Uh, it's also kind of crazy how she's able to hold that microphone up to her head with that stick she calls an arm. Uh, don't worry, boys and girls, you are not missing anything from this seminar, although she is a health coach and a certified raw food chef, uh, whatever that means. If this girl ever stepped foot in an actual kitchen, uh, her face would melt off, uh, but I guess that's why she is a raw chef and therefore does not use any heating elements. Uh, she does seem to be obsessed with bananas as uh, she mentioned them uh, several times in this video, but uh, that's okay. I, for one, welcome any banana girls, uh, although that is likely uh, the last thing we need on this planet. Uh, on a serious note, it's just classic vegan propaganda bullshit. Uh, eat your fibers, whole grains, watch these vegan documentaries. They are life-changing. Uh, she didn't mention she had clients. Uh, so I'm genuinely curious who the hell is paying this girl for advice. Yet I am chiseled out of bronze and I bet she has more clients than me. Uh, what's weird is she legitimately believes this is a healthy diet as she is not vegan. I'm not a vegan. I wear leather. I didn't buy my dog from a shelter. I'm very, very sorry to all my vegan friends. They love and support me. I'm just, I'm not a vegan. I am plant-based. I am mostly raw, but at our house around the holidays, that's when I like to indulge. This girl is a bit out there, but what's really out there is her recent Q&A. I just want to say once again, I'm so sorry it's been so long since I filmed a video. I'm currently in Los Angeles here for the LA Veg Fest, and I'm so excited that's tomorrow. They should call it the LA Veg right Fest now, with I all those dirty vegan and girls. My girlfriend and I are about to go out for dinner. We're so excited. Um, but I thought I would finally do my QA video here, so here we go. 
favorite lotion for body. Mm, I love anything by Eminence, and I also like the Hemp's lotion, so that's really, really great. Um, how much is your weight and height? That's a good question. So I'm 5'6". My weight, I get it checked twice a year by my doctor. You'd have to ask You me. mean at the grocery store on the fruit scale? What is my workout routine? I want a booty like yours. Mm. Okay, the booty one's going to be funny. In what minute, booty? But, uh, workout Her routine, pelvic I bone? At all. I haven't even gone for a walk in 10 weeks. Um, and that's because I just had surgery, but prior to that, I just decided I really needed a Has break. there ever been a point where you haven't had surgery? Wanting to be a runner. Um, but I do think in general, it's really good to do at least um, an hour of a walk a day or like a half an hour of a high -end. Look at her hands. Workout, they're, so. they're like, Does your they're bigger than mine. With you. He always has. Um, and I really love traveling when I'm in relationships, but right now I'm just on a girl's trip. Um, how old am I? I'm 26. Did you make plastics? You are beautiful. I think that means have I ever gotten plastic surgery and maybe what my views are on it. So definitely, a few years ago I got my breast done. And then most recently, I just got hip implants and butt implants. So I wasn't the girl that was born with curves. I say, you know, if you want to Were get you born surgery, with that brow surgery. ridge, Miss Neanderthal? Curves. So Kim Kardashian's always been my uh, my beauty model, and um, I'm currently just going through the recovery process now. Uh, do you have silicone? Yes, it would be silicone. Silicone. Um, oh, hang on. I would love to make a drawing of you. Would you like that? Sure. <laughs> Thanks. You're not going to need uh, too much um, paint for that picture, buddy. Tea, so I highly recommend those brands. Um, I lived in Vancouver last year, and I got to go to the Eminence headquarters there, which is really cool. So if you're ever in Vancouver, you can check out their storefront. How long have I been vegan? About seven years now, and I've lost track. It could I thought be she eight, wasn't vegan. I think it's seven. I guess you could be selective about it. How do it. I manage to stay alive when your heart is made of pure gold? Love you. Love you too, Nicole. I thought her heart was made of silicon. Where am I from? Originally, I'm from Montreal, but I've lived in a lot of cities in Canada. So in the last two years, I've lived in Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, Edmonton again. Um, but I'm originally from Montreal. Is there uh, something in the and water then, up there? Like, uh, what's going on? Yeah. That's what's much, going on? <laughs> okay. Well, I hope everyone has a really great time. And if any of you guys are at VegFest LA tomorrow, I would love to see you. Is the reason her Q&A was so short because those were the only positive comments on her channel? If you guys look on any of her videos, she has an incredibly high amount of dislikes. I think like 90% of the likes on her video are actually dislikes. So it's really sad that you have this girl who is so out of touch with reality and unlike a lot of other vegans who have a support system and have people reassuring uh, their ridiculous beliefs, this girl actually has people telling her that, you know, maybe she's anorexic, maybe she doesn't look good, she doesn't look healthy, she needs help, maybe she's mentally ill. Whatever these people are saying to her, she's clearly ignoring it. Uh, but it's important to note here that the appearance of this girl is how everyone should be perceiving people following a vegan diet. This is the embodiment of the mental illness, what a vegan diet does to your insides, uh, shown in the flesh. So uh, before you guys want to go and discredit, say, oh, she's not doing the vegan diet properly, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. Anyone following a vegan diet is incorrect from a health perspective, a moral perspective, an environmental perspective. They are fighting a false cause because they like the cute little piggies, oink, oink. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, I'm sorry. I know some of you guys like the educational videos more. I get so many requests uh, to do videos like this. And honestly, how many people I've seen talking about my concepts on podcasts without crediting me. I'm getting a little bit discouraged, but uh, outside of that, thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you guys would like to support me further, please just check out some of the other videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, I've recently launched Frankie's Free Range Meat. My goal 
being to provide you guys with high quality nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. Uh, so if you don't want to look like a decrepit corpse, uh, you can check out Frankie's free range meat.com. Uh, if you guys want Frankie's meat in your mouth, uh, we are looking to do a bunch of exciting products in the future from snacks that literally taste like candy and shipping raw dairy all around the country. So guys, again, check out Frankie's free range meat.com and enjoy the rest of your week.